Welcome to the channel and grid on Xbox One X in 4K. So today I'm doing the campaign level mod fest, which is all about modified tuners. I'm at Zhejiang Circuit on the West Track, which is a one mile circuit, three laps of this, so it should be quite a short race. This is my first time in the Nissan 300ZX in grid. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. This is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Uh, 300 brake horsepower V6 engine so this should be a bit of a beast to drive I'm hoping it's a twin turbo as well and most of you probably know this is a fair lady Z 300 ZX nice bit of acceleration there definitely feel the difference in the steering for the rear wheel drive whoa slow down severe undertakes there I must admit that caught me by surprise how quick they were braking. I haven't driven this variant of the circuit um, much or at all. I'm not sure if I've driven this. Oh, big hit. I'm not sure if I've driven this at all. I probably have driven it once or twice, I'm just not recognising it. I haven't driven it enough for it to become familiar yet. So I've upset my friend in the 1971 GTR Nissan Skyline there. That's my teammate in front. I'm going a little bit wide trying to control the rear end. Big old slide, little tap there, little love tap. I've <laughs> got a 240Z in front, which is labelled as a Datsun, but a Datsun actually was the branded name for Nissan in the US. Um, I'm not sure when they stopped that branding. Um, I think it was in the mid 90s, I want to say. But originally they branded, yeah. Their Nissan cars as Datsuns in the US and had different models for that market and stuff. But um, a lot of you probably know that as a Nissan 240Z, not a Datsun 240Z. So, a big fan of these fair ladies, though, these twin turbo uh, 300ZX is really nice vehicle, this. And I love playing or driving this vehicle in any driving game I get the chance to. Probably one of my favourite vehicles from sort of 1989 to 2000 period um, I think they got I want to say they got discontinued in 2000 maybe 2001 but production began on the Nissan 300 ZX in 1989 um, I remember seeing one of these in the magazine at the age of uh, 18 and thinking I want one <laughs> I never got one unfortunately this is the one car but one of the very few cars I haven't driven that I would love to drive. I'm not sure what these go for second hand. There were some very special edition, uh, I think they were called SMZs or something, um, which were like modified um, 300ZXs that got sold in the US and Canada I think. And there were only uh, a handful of these things that were made, but they were selling, you know, very expensive compared to the standard model. I think it was like ten to fourteen, fifteen thousand more dollars than the typical model. But they did a whole bunch of upgrades to it to beef the vehicle up. So only just won this. So only just got in front. So that was actually a good race. It was an interesting race all the way through. So I'll let you guys watch the replay, I'll be back for the second race.
So there's the leaderboard times. Or oh, they were there. Sorry, I hit the button accidentally and they shot past. Um, my bad. Too anxious for the next race, which you're going to really like. Next race, especially if you're a grid fan. The next race is the Okutama Sprint. And this is a four and a bit mile race. But Okutama, if you you know played the original grid, you'll know it very well for it being one of the um, drift circuits and also one of the, I forgot what they call them, the toga circuits, where you had to basically compete against another vehicle. Um, really tough races. So this is going to be interesting because I haven't driven this sprint variant. Now this is called Shinto Shrine, the circuit, and it's going to be quite a tough drive. It's nighttime racing as well, which is another reason why I wanted to put this particular series up on the channel because it shows you guys some nighttime racing which I don't think I've showed you yet. So I'm in car again. I must admit I, I, I so much love driving in current video games. I get very disappointed these days when I get a you know, driving game and there is no in car. It's like a complete letdown for me. Um, it's just so much more immersive and it is obviously more difficult to win races in car than it is out of car, but it's more natural to me um, to drive this way. Obviously the easiest way you know, to drive is chase view, which is how most people drive these days, which is fine if people enjoy doing that. I just like the immersion this gives from a um, you know, driving game in terms of you know, realism and stuff. So I managed to sneak into seventh at the moment. Doing quite a good job of remembering, oh, clip the side there, doing quite a good job of remembering this circuit to be honest. I've raced some of this before, obviously, at the moment, because I've had to do some races, but definitely not the full thing. And there's some real nasty sections like this. This is quite a tight old left-hander here, and the next one is as well, if I remember it right, yeah. So you can come off on the grass there and you will spin out, especially in a rear-wheel drive like this 300ZX. So these guys got a bit of distance on me at the moment. I need to use my corners or a real tight u-turn coming up I think yeah gonna hit him sorry buddy managed to get through two of them there unintentionally it kind of caught me out it was a little bit quicker than I expected to come up on me getting caught up on this BRZ Subaru alongside me so I'm into third now these guys up front have got a bit of distance I've got 52 percent of the race this is a nasty old section this, it lands up being a pinball session if you get this wrong. You just get bounced from wall to wall, oh, big hit, didn't help me. And he's having a go as well, I'm boxing out. And I've got 64% of race, I've really got to put my foot down here, and take some risks or I'm not catching this guy. I don't want to hit this wall because it's going to slow me down. Good bit of distance. This is definitely not an easy race. This is on normal, by the way, just in case you're wondering. So it is actually quite challenging, even in normal mode. Oh, fight stopping that rear spinning out on me. It was having a bit of a go there. Let me push it all the way through. Game looks really nice at night mode. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to hit you up the backside. It's not quite how I want to overtake you. Uh, I do like to race clean, although obviously in this race I've been a little bit messy unintentionally clipping the AI cars. And that's purely because you know, I haven't raced this circuit in the longest time, but I'm actually surprised. I do remember most of this circuit quite well. I'm not so sure about this bit. I don't remember this very well. Yeah, big slide there from the rear, big complaint. AI is only a mistake away at the moment. I may have a bit of a gap, but it's not much. I've done it, first place. That was really good fun. I love that circuit. Okutama Sprint rocks. I'll leave you guys to watch the replay. I'll be back at the end of the video. Enjoy.
that was exciting stuff really enjoyed that race both of those races I was only actually a second and a bit ahead of the normal AI so for a normal AI race this was actually quite a challenging event series this Modfest event series well I hope you've enjoyed this slice of grid on Xbox One X in 4k I will be back with plenty more grid action on the channel in the not too distant future plus lots of other gaming goodies if you enjoyed the video maybe drop me a like maybe subscribe thanks for watching take care keep well most importantly come back soon